Hey everyone, this is BearKiller77 Mitch. Um, today I had an idea to make a video um, on my way home, and it's a subject I have been thinking about for um, about a week or so. The subject I'm um, going to title of this video is called Comfortable Christianity. Or church again, I should say. Um, you know, if you're a believer out there, um, or maybe you're a new believer, one thing that we can get caught up in as believers is uh, get caught up in a routine, and you know, God becomes this. Um, he becomes this. Um, something that we just do every day and something that you know you don't really give much thought or passion to um um and this can be one of the dangers of forming a routine however I do encourage everyone to um if you're a new Christian or if you're an old one like me been for 10 years you know however long you've been to form patterns like reading the Bible and praying um which can be good um I guess I'll put it this way um if you've been going to a local congregation or maybe you're going to a denominational church or maybe you're not going to church at all you know whatever your situation may be we can all get in a place where you know we just feel like there's not a lot going on in our lives and you know we're not growing spiritually and I just want to address that you know Jesus said in the New Testament he's going to spit out those who are lukewarm I think is what it says those who are not you know neither salty or hot or cold I think but those who are lukewarm or salty you know if you're <clears throat> if you ever drink in lukewarm water you know what I mean but <clears throat> by the it spit out so you know I have this glass and it has salt from I've had a couple some pretzels I was eating um and you know sometimes in our lives we can get very dry and salty which is good from the word but then we have the world come in and pour our glass full of you know, lukewarm water, and we drink it down, and because of how little sometimes we have of God's word in us, that salt is not very much, so it gets diluted in the water, and God, God's message that he's trying to speak to us and communicate to us in that salt gets diluted in with the water. So we can get kind of washed up by things of this world and washed up by the things that are going on around us in our lives. Perhaps it's a job, you know, you have a family, or if you, you know, you have some kind of medical condition perhaps you're suffering with, um, you know, perhaps just some various illness or or. Um, thing you're treating for another family member not yourself so it's causing a burden or financial struggle um, perhaps maybe you, it's with dealing with a health insurance agency or you know anything to do with ministerial or perhaps um, you know anything at all we get involved with the world we can get washed up and very busy in fact in my own life I've noticed that I can get very very busy trying to schedule things okay schedule things and we sometimes forget to write God down in a way um, and don't get me wrong I, I do read read the word and and sometimes I don't feel like I'm praying a lot you know but um, I'm not perfect and I encourage everyone there, there to pray if you're a believer to you know, just put 
have God in the central focus of your life, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And, um, you know, I gotta be honest with you guys, I just felt like, uh, you know, this, especially the last two or three weeks, it's just been really, 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 really busy trying to get things done with school, um, like today I finished this lab, I uh, work with a group of students, and I gotta do a report Friday, and I, I haven't started working on that yet, um, so I gotta get started on that probably, hopefully I can get done by tomorrow, you know, but, um, no guarantees. Right. <laughs> um, and that's the way life tends to go. Very, sometimes very, um, mellow, and sometimes it's very rough, um, and very, there's a lot of suffering. And that's one thing as believers that we understand that we don't always understand why, why God allows suffering in this world. Well, the reason why is because we live in a fallen world. We live in a very fallen and sinful, corrupt world, and God allows us to reject Him or accept Him based off of our choices. Why, some people ask, you know, why would a loving God allow this? And sometimes we don't know those answers best answer we can give them is that God is sovereign, he knows, but perhaps he, this was the best option considering all the options on the table. He chose to send his son Jesus Christ into the world to pay for the, um, for the redeemed, for the, their sins on the cross. That was perhaps the best route of all of them, I don't know, we never will know, we'll not, we'll not know until we get into heaven. Um, but until then, we uh, we just spend our time on this earth serving the Lord, whatever occupation or ministerial work or whatever you happen to be doing. Perhaps you are at a computer all day, you get paid to sit at a workstation. Perhaps you're a lifeguard. Perhaps you're a pastor. Perhaps you're a firefighter. Perhaps you know there's a, a zillion different occupations I could go through, but. You know, whatever God's call you to do, just do it for the glory of God. And it doesn't have to be pastoral work that's that's serving the Lord. If you're a fire, fire, fireman, or if you're a, someone who sits on your desk, you can, you know, work your hardest and work for the glory of God. And God gets glory out of that as much as he does someone who comes up to a, um, a pulpit every week. You know, God calls us to all different things. There's the Ephesians... I think in 1 Corinthians, it's not Ephesians, I think it's in 1st or 2nd Corinthians, okay, talking about the gifts in the body of Christ. Some are called to exhort, some are called to teach, some are called for various ministries, and not everyone is called to do one thing or another thing. We all have different gifts in the body of Christ. Um, but one thing is important is that we do whatever God has called us to do, and that um, whatever He has called us to do, we do for His glory. So, and we give back to God in all things. We give back to God. Um, but back to what I was talking about, since I kind of went off uh, a little bit, kind of explaining the things. Um, and I do believe God has given me two gifts. Um, I tend to have the gift of exhortation with others, with Stickham. I'm not sure if any of you have noticed this, but i um, not bragging or anything. This is just me pointing this out. Uh, exhortation. And also, obviously, since I'm on YouTube making these teaching videos, um, and I could make them frequently, and I could talk about God's Word and cite some Bible verses to you and explain them to you, perhaps, and maybe answer, ask some questions, at, answer some questions and ask questions perhaps um, this is a uh, gift of teaching and I understand I'm not perfect but you know I'm in the fallen he is a fallen human vessel that God has chosen to redeem <laughs> praise God so 
Um, but anyway, you know, God has just called all us believers to do whatever God has uh, is, is called us to do, you know, for various ministries, and perhaps God has called you to serve as a light person, perhaps he's called you to hold the door open, as it were, in some vacation somewhere. Vocation, vacation, I can't talk. Um, you know, I mean, being a door holder is very important, just as, as the CEO. Some people think of their jobs as, you know, they're working 9 to 5 jobs, 7 to 5, whatever the hours happen to be, and, um, you know, they they tend to think that just because they're in this low-level position that they don't have a greater role. But, you know, Great Jesus said the the greatest is as, as a children, the little children, which is as a servant, a servant like a humble heart attitude for our work that we have as believers. And, you know, even as a student, I can exhort God and praise God, give various things back to God in various ways. Perhaps it's turning in some assignment, some report, you know. I can thank God in prayer for that and choose to thank God or choose to give back to God in various ways or perhaps I can give some things that God has given me and I can understand that God has placed in my mind like he did this morning. Um, back to you to teach, perhaps exhort, um, correct whatever the case may be, um, and, you know, being lukewarm is very dangerous, very dangerous, um, what I mean by this is we can get in a position where God just becomes this routine, and we don't, and what I mean by this is it's not something the Holy Spirit might not, it, is present, um, but it's not perhaps as active, and, you know, God's working even then, but we can get, um, in a position where we can get comfortable with sin or things in our lives, um, or whatever happens to be on our plate financially, spiritually, emotionally, physically, so you have all these different categories, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, God can help you manage these things, these different categories in your life, and perhaps you should place your sin off, get your focus off of these various issues, and get them back on the center, who is God, and His Son, Jesus Christ, and back into your life, and into my life, so that we can get our whole lives centered around Him, because He is the one who created this world and this universe, and He holds all things together. As it says, um, uh, in, hang on, let me look that up, he holds all things together, you know, and, um, hang on just a second, um, Colossians 117, he is before all things and all things, he holds all things together, the Bible says, the scriptures say, amen, amen, okay, so, we know that God holds things all together. He can hold all these different areas of our lives together. And um, as believers, we can trust in His will and providence for our lives that He will do. He will do whatever's in His will and whatever's best best for us. And whatever His will is, we providentially accept it and say, "Amen, Lord." And, and sometimes that may involve some things and trials and tribulations, but you know, through the grace of God, we get through them, and we press on for the, as James, press on to fight the good fight, and run on and keep, as Paul says, running the race, fight the good fight for, and, and win the prize, and who is that prize? That prize is Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior. Um, <laughs> so, um, you know, um, wow, okay, yeah, see, that was totally got at me, I, I would never come up with this, um, but, um, okay, so, 
just meditate on these things. Meditate on things of God in your life. Meditate on things of prayer, exhortation, the things of scripture, the things of God. And know that, you know, God is working in your life as a believer. And uh, just keep pressing on. Be passionate about what you're doing. And don't fall into lukewarmness. Lukewarmness is um, not good. And God would rather have you be hot than cold. Or hot or cold than lukewarm. And perhaps if you're cold, I encourage you to step out of that. Step into the fireplace of God's will for your life. And perhaps God will turn up the fires of tribulations, temptation, whatever it may be. So that you can serve Him greatly and more. And whatever vocation God has called you to do in this world for his people and his glory. Okay, so this video is um, hit the 16 minute mark. So hopefully someone out there that God placed in my mind um, was encouraged by this message. Because I'm sure it was sad this message was for somebody because it's been on my mind and god bless you feel free to uh, watch see other teaching videos you could just click over there um on my name or you i think there's more related videos or something like that off to this side not this side this side so related videos will have my name bear killer 777 or you can just click on my channel it has all my videos on there so um feel free to send a pm friend request, you know, if you this is the first time you've come across my channel, you know, thank you for visiting, thank you for subscribing, you know, all glory be to God. Alright, God bless you, thank you for watching.